Northfield introduces a significant innovation to the problem of asset allocation, the analytic hierarchy process. AHP is a robust and elegant methodology for applying common sense considerations to complex real-world problems. The technique was specifically developed to optimize decision-making with qualitative, potentially conflicting factors. AHP is a common decision support tool in industrial management to assist in making complicated, often irreversible decisions. To better understand AHP, we will first look at how the algorithm is used in a classic industrial problem, finding the best location for a new auto manufacturing plant. Such a plant costs billions of dollars and cannot be moved. There are a host of considerations – land cost, labour force, supply chain, taxes, political environment, and the list goes on. Many of these factors conflict with each other and many are not easily specified as a simple number value. The plant location represents a large, illiquid investment decision and it is vital that it be done right the first time. AHP uses matrix algebra to coherently and consistently sort out these factors, arriving at mathematically optimal solutions. Techniques such as AHP have become time-tested standard tools in multi-billion dollar industrial decision-making. Northfield believes that asset allocation is a similar class of decision. An individual or family and their investments represent a very complicated context. The things that bring people happiness, fulfilment and security are as qualitative, conflicting and difficult to specify as these industrial decisions. It is equally important to get these decisions right. The great insight of classic mean variance optimization, which has traditionally been used in the investment industry, is to reduce the complexity of asset allocation into just two factors, risk and return. It starts with our expectations for asset class risk and return and uses this information to form a range of portfolios that offer the best risk-reward trade-offs for different investors. The core of the mean variance method is our set of beliefs about financial markets. However, the mean variance process requires us to reduce every aspect to risk or return. We must answer difficult questions such as, how much return am I willing to give up to have greater liquidity? Once this is done, we must choose among the efficient portfolios by assessing our risk tolerance, usually by a subjective, rules-based risk questionnaire. There is no underlying theory and often little rigour behind the way that these risk surveys are processed. As an alternative, the AHP method centers the allocation process directly on the needs and preferences of the investor. Once those needs and preferences have been expressed, the algorithm finds sets of investments that best fit the requirements. The focus of the process is the investor, not financial market conditions. The AHP algorithm elegantly allows for a full range of real-world investment issues. An investment firm can use the system to customise their treatment of each factor of interest. It is an open framework that can accept all kinds of factors, continuous or discrete, linear or non-linear. The matrix can encompass anything from traditional financial planning questions, such as household income and savings rate, to more subtle issues such as major health conditions, liquidity requirements and investment experience. Northfield has configured the system with sample AHP profiles which are customizable to the beliefs and experiences of an advisor or firm expert. AHP is based on robust theory and has been carefully developed over the last 25 years for decision making in complex nuanced environments. The focus is on applying common sense to the investor portfolio while remaining consistent and rigorous. The Northfield implementation of AHP starts by defining the needs and preferences of potential investors. We call the overall fit to these factors suitability. From here, a financial advisor can build a multi-level tree of additional factors, perhaps some about objectives, some about risk and some about income. The user interface lets the financial advisor set up and document these factor groups. Each of these levels can contain any number of factors, such as liquidity requirements or savings rate. Each factor is presented to investors in the form of a question. 
Using the system, a financial advisor can customize each factor, its questions and answers. For each of these factors, the financial advisor ranks the relative preferences for each asset class for each multiple choice answer. For example, if the factor was need for current income and an investor's need for current income was high, then bonds would be preferable to small cap stocks. For a different investor who has no need for current income, the opposite would be true. These rankings are entered directly into the user interface. By this ranking process, the financial advisor automatically builds a matrix of asset preferences at each node of the factor tree. Next, we compute the most important principal component for each of these asset matrices. The result is a list of appropriate asset weights vis-à-vis -vis this factor. Then, these weights are assembled into a unified matrix of asset weights versus factors. Now, we go back to the factors. We rank the factors against each other, as we did with the assets. Once we have included all of our views into the matrix, we compute the most important principal component. More simply, the financial advisor can directly assign weights to factors. Finally, the system computes the solution, which we call the AHP Asset Allocation. This is a list of asset class weights that represents the most suitable asset allocation for the investor. The results of an AHP asset allocation are generally quite close to the risk-return efficient frontier under typical market conditions. More importantly, the AHP portfolio is located at the correct position on the curve based on the rest of the investor's needs and preferences. Portfolios generated by AHP are generally more diversified and intuitive than those generated by classic mean variance optimization. The mean variance method often produces solutions concentrated in a single asset class because it gives too much credibility to our forecasts of risk and return. Unlike mean variance, a small change in AHP inputs does not lead to large changes in the output. Incremental changes to questions result in incremental allocation changes, providing intuitive feedback. The underlying algorithm is very good at dealing with conflict so that mutually exclusive inputs will still yield sensible results. Northfield believes that it is time to bring common sense back into asset allocation. The AHP method affords a unique opportunity to focus on an investor's unique needs, making asset allocation a rigorous, coherent, consistent process that can be extended throughout a financial services provider. We encourage you to consider adding this innovation to your firm's asset allocation decision-making process.